What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna be switching up gears again. Um, I got a new master cylinder in for the OBS. Um, if you have one of these trucks, you know that the brakes are very, very spongy, which is not a good thing. So everything's brand new on the truck. I got brand new, brand new rotors in the front, brand new brake pads in the front, brand new shoes in the rear, brand new drums in the rear, and I still have a really spongy pedal. So we're gonna be switching up. I did some research and that seems to be the fix. It's supposed to be about 50% better. I will let you know how this works out, but I was able to get some parts in. I got a new master cylinder from my NBS, a 2000, 2000 to 2003 model. So it's a same stock, bone stock master cylinder for NBS uh, truck. I also got the, uh, you know, a few other things you're gonna be needing is one is the actual, it, part number is BLF-26C. That's the fitting. I also got a master cylinder brake bleeder kit. This is from Amazon, it was about eight bucks. And I also got a new brake master cylinder. This is the uh, Dorman brand. It was about 51 bucks from Amazon, free shipping to my house. I will put all the links in the description box below. So let's get to it, let's quit wasting time and let's get going. All right guys, get the new master out. These are just some caps to cap it off once you fill it up with brake fluid. This is the fitting that you'll need to adapt it to the OBS. Okay, we're gonna assemble this real quick. We're gonna do a dry fit first, just to make sure. Uh, well, you gotta bend some of the lines for the new master. This one is a bit shorter. All right, so that's that. All right, guys, we have a few bolts. 15 mils. Also, you want to make sure this thing is drained. I already drained this. So, master cylinder is dry. Loosen these up already. Stick a rag down here to catch any excess fluid. out it wasn't leaking or anything let's get the new one okay guys this is a side-by-side -side compar comparison this is the new one that we'll be installing, and this is the old one. Um, from what I've what I've researched, uh, the reason why these work much better in the OBS is because the actual bore cylinder size. It's much shorter than the OBS one. So let's get going on that, but you can see the differences from the old to new.
Okay, and again, we're just doing this for mock-up. All right, guys, you can see how far the lines are off. This one, we're just gonna gently bend back. Same thing with this one. You should be able to get them in place. That screwed in no problem now we have the adapter fitting on this one and just gently bend it up pretty good and that'll be the install we just got to put this bracket back as well don't forget that but we still got a bench bleed I don't have anyone here with me so that was a dry fit everything lines up pretty good everything fits perfect gotta take this back off and uh, bench bleed this Okay, I left my bleeder kit in there, just easier for me. This one's already leaking a little bit, so we're gonna get this one first. Tight. 
got my rag, caught mostly everything. Alright guys, last but not least, just want to clean everything up. Okay guys, I forgot to mention, this one does have a sensor. This is for the actual level of the brake fluid. Since this is an older model OBS truck, it doesn't have one, so this will stay unplugged. Just so you know. All right guys, that's gonna do it for this one. So we got rid of this old thing. And we got a new one. We switched it up for NBS master cylinder. So the rumors are true. It's about half the travel, uh, stopping power a lot better. Um, it feels like a different truck. It's kind of strange, but um, yeah, it's very true. Very cheap and expensive upgrade for the, for the brake system. Um, everything's brand new now, including the master cylinder on my OBS so that we we replaced it with a new one from Dorman from Amazon. It was about 51 bucks shipped to my house. We also got the little adapter fitting. I gave you guys the part number. Uh, I'll also link it in the description below. Um, that was about four bucks uh, from the auto parts store. I got it from CarQuest because I couldn't find it anywhere else. AutoZone didn't have it, O'Reilly's didn't have it. No one pretty much had it, but you can find it. Um, you can find it online. It takes a little bit of time to get to your house, but I was able to find it at CarQuest. So make sure you get that. And I also got the little uh, master cylinder brake bleeder kit. And that was it. So that's going to do it for this one, guys. As always, comment, like, share, and subscribe. Also, if you're not already following me on Instagram, uh, you can follow me at Lowlife Yonkis. And I'll catch you guys shortly on the next one.